Ten years ago, my best friend Ricky decided to sell his super rare Play Choice 10 by Nintendo to a church to do a good thing. They were looking for something for the kids, something unique, and Ricky, although he loved this Play Choice 10 with all his heart, he decided to let it go for close to nothing. Okay, I'm gonna go down to the next box. Three, two, one. I mean, I'm a little bummed, but at the same time, I'm happy. I mean, it's going to a good place. How can I complain? Now, it would make for better footage if we dropped it and it fell down the stairs. Yeah, I'm good. So we get it up the stairs. It was a little heavy. I mean, my side was at least. But I was just... I was happy to see that Kelly liked it. Ever so often, I'll hear Ricky mention it from time to time, saying, man, I really miss that Play Choice 10, or, man, I wish I could have found a different way to give them something else. This was such a prized possession of mine. I'm so sad that I don't have it anymore. This beautiful thing. It's so pretty. It literally is so pretty. Look at him. Just the other day, I ran into one of the people who still works at that church and I found out that they still have that Play Choice 10 and they don't even use it anymore. Like, How long has it been not being played for? It has not been played for a good five years. For about five years. If so it got, it's got some good use though, at yeah, least. For sure, great use. I've decided to do something crazy. Ricky has been wanting this forever. I am buying it back for Ricky for no reason. I am just getting this for him as a gift. Yes, I have to pay a lot of money for it. These things are super valuable, but Ricky deserves it. He's my best friend, and this is something he's always wished that he never did. Well, he liked to do the kind gesture that he did for the church, but he's always wished he could have done some other thing because that Play Choice 10 was super important to him. So yes, today we're getting him that exact Play Choice 10, the one that was his, that we got in our original show. It's time to do a massive blessing for my best buddy. Say goodbye. Drink one of these things every day. There's like turmeric in it and weird coconut water and organic stuff. And I swear to you guys, I haven't been sick in like eight years, like an actual real sickness. So. <sighs> I'm almost there now, and I don't think I said this yet, but this is a complete surprise to Ricky. He has no idea. What I actually told him is I said, hey, just so you know, I'm gonna come by in a little bit, and I have five NES games for you. That's just the excuse I came up with, so we'll get to see his reaction to in real time if he's stoked. I know he's gonna be stoked. Curtis, Curtis. What's going on? We're here. I know, I know. It's big time for uh, you know who. I know, Rick, so Ricky has no idea, by the way, Josh. Ricky has no idea. This is our friend Josh, he's known Ricky. How long have you known Ricky, too? I've known Ricky, Probably eight years. No, I think longer. Dude. Longer? I think we're probably pushing 10 years at this point, bro. Okay, 10 years, we go way back. Yeah, we go way back. <laughs> uh, how do you think Ricky's gonna react when we bring this to him? I honestly think he's gonna be shocked, one thing, and then also he'll start to tear up and then he'll be like, man, that's great. That's like his favorite line to say. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, dude, that's what I picture a lot of. <laughs> I picture a lot of old dudes. Dude, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for him because it's just, it's gonna be a, a special moment for him. Ooh. So how long has it been? Like, how long has it been not being played for? It has not been played for a good five years. For about five years. If so it got, it's got some good use though, at yeah, least. For sure, great use. I love me some good ambiance. From a guy who's very OCD about the way things look, I got a game room, podcast studio, I tell my friends all the time, one of my favorite things to look at is have like ambiance lights and proper lighting within a room. An item that my son and I have been enjoying together very much so is the Joyte Star Projector. Joyte is a professional brand specializing in the production of star projectors, offering an awesome blend of stars, nebula, constellations, and planets, bringing the universe to your space. One of my favorite ways to utilize the lights is well, just playing video games. I like a dimly lit house while I'm playing the N64 or the NES and just kind of having like a good setting. It gives a good vibe. And when you use this, there's a ton of different settings and modes to play with on the remote. You can switch colors and framing and constellation styles and nebula styles. It's kind of like an all-in-one play area. Click the link down in the description below if you want to check it out. It's the perfect way to set a good setting and have a cool mood. Thank you, Joyte, for sponsoring the video. I appreciate it. There it is, man. I actually watched the old episode this morning where we picked it up from Kelly and Andy. And you just click this guy right here, and it just gives you time. So okay. this could, this kind of arcade, it's not like it's not like your lives. This yeah. just this oh, yeah. little button. Okay. It's time. It gives you time. Okay. It's really bizarre, but awesome. There it is, 1988. 
And I don't even remember what games are, and you said you don't even know if it works anymore. I don't even know if it works. I'm assuming with a little tender love and care. I'm sure. It would work. And these, you know, they made them built to last back then. And then also, funny enough, I don't think you even know, there's another machine we're picking up back there. Oh, it's the one with the 540. Yes, the back there. Yeah. How the hell? Are you excited? Yeah. Are you ready to get rid of this thing and put it for the church kids? <laughs> no, because it's so cool. <laughs> but yeah, it goes to a good cause. It's pretty sick, I gotta admit. It's a tabletop. Who doesn't want a tabletop? I want a tabletop. I want two tabletops. So it's cool, now the kids have a Play Choice 10 and a sweet little arcade tabletop, the main. Yep, the Pandora's box. I still don't know where that's going, so. We'll just drop it up, Ricky's figured out later. <laughs> so. I feel like I'm the only one with room. <laughs> Is that your way of saying you want it? No. Oh, okay, I mean, hey. No. Here comes a new challenger. The same person who literally helped me bring it upstairs 10 years ago, hiding out. What are the odds of that? You know, and pretty, that, pretty dang high. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Whichever way you want to go. You what's quicker, Josh? You're oh, the boss. this one. Okay. This one. Thank you, sir. You got it all perfect. Beautiful. Hey, thanks, Curtis. That's what we're doing. Is it happy? Hey, Curtis is doing a great job. Curtis is a strong man. So strong. He's he's muscles. Muscles. What's up, Muna? It's good to see you. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. Yay. Sorry. No, you're good. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's more. It makes more sense. I feel like I'm going to grab him over here. Yep, ready? Oh yeah! Oh, we got this. Just slide. You're gonna love the footage so much, you might hire me. <laughs> get uh, the other one, which is the big name one. I don't remember how big it is like in actual reality of like actual size dimensions. Everybody who has a good friend has a truck. And moving blankets. And moving oh, blankets, look at that. Clutch, 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 clutch. Dude, I'm excited for Ricky. It's literally coming to fruition, baby. Let's go, make it happen. Very, I'm very curious if this one works. If it's by the wall, we should just plug it on just to see. It's a new night for us. We were supposed to go get a tabletop machine for the church again because they wanted more arcades. They couldn't just get enough. What we gave them was just a little taste and they want more. We were gonna go get a tabletop the night we picked up and gave them the Play Choice 10, but I got sick. Are you ready for this late night? No, we should have finished this last night. So Aaron got sick. Aaron pulls an Aaron, got sick. I don't know how that's called pulling an Aaron, but Let's make it that. I don't know, you act like a little baby. Okay, I don't know what you had, but it was something, because Aaron never gets sick like that. I got really sick. I barely made it home when we were taking the Street Fighter cabinet into Ricky's house. I mean, I couldn't stop at stoplights without shaking. The minute we got out of Ricky's car, I flew home and literally barfed the second I got out of my car. Aaron's a complainer, but not that big of a complainer. This is true. So I did, I did barf everywhere. That was. I wish I was there for that. That would have been good footage, but I tried to hold it. I couldn't. It's like diarrhea out my mouth. So Aaron tells me this place is like 40 minutes away. So I'm like, no, oh, no big deal. Whatever. I'll just head it. We'll, we'll head over after work. I have good news and bad news. The good news is the guy held the arcade for us. Good news. What's the bad news is I just looked up how long, and it says an hour and 29 minutes. Find out it's an hour and a half away. I was like, dude, I got work at five the next morning. Classic Aaron. All right, well, we'll see. We're leaving at 7.35 right now. Just gonna grab some gas and we'll see what happens. You're leaving? On a jet plane. Is that what I was supposed to say? I was gonna say on that midnight train to Georgia. I was gonna say planes, trains, or taxi cabs. All the choices hit. Yeah. It's like 
10.30 at night, and it's pitch black, but I am talking to the point where we don't see anything. I feel like we're like in the middle of nowhere. We like barely see cars and we're going up like this long dark road. And I don't like it, actually. I feel like we're going in the middle of the hill and a guy's gonna like kill us. This place was far, dark, and honestly, a little sketchy. I've never been to that part. Like, I've been, I go everywhere for my job, but there, never. We don't see cars. We don't see lights on houses. We're seeing like little glimmers in the mountains. We're in the middle of nowhere. Those glimmers were probably flashlights of people carrying dead bodies to bury them in the middle of the desert. Yeah. It was kind of trippy. We were legitimately a little concerned. We saw nothing. I almost turned around like in 30, 40 minutes straight of nothing. I didn't even know that existed in California where we were. Except where I bury my dead bodies, people I kill. All Turn right. right onto Yarrow Court, then your destination will be on the left. Yarrow Court. Finally, it's like the first time we've seen homes in like 45 minutes. It's just funny that like there was nothing forever. Uh, three, four, six, six, Your five. destination is on the left. Thank you. So we get there, we're all excited to start filming this machine, start showing you guys this cool tabletop that we found on Craigslist, and Ricky presses record to turn on the camera, and legitimately, I'm, I'm holding the camera, I, all I do is turn it on, and we get a lens error. Our camera lens is broken, and this weird thing comes on, I can't do anything, I can't record, I can't take a picture, I can't do anything. It kind of freaks me out, because I'm the one holding it, and I'm like, great, I'm gonna get blamed for this. Of course I'm gonna get blamed for it. Dude, I did nothing. It's not very good. This happens all the time with this camera. I'm serious, the Nikon 1V1, it's a great looking camera, but it always has things going wrong with it. This is like the second time. I've only had the camera a few years. I'm upset. Did you break the camera? No. Real talk, did you break the Real camera, I did not do squat to that camera. It's gonna be some lucky fourth graders and fifth graders. I wish I had this stuff in my church stuff when I was a kid. Yeah. You go to church and be like, yeah, I got arcade machines. What, to play Joey's 10 and a MAME with 520 arcade games? Just out of curiosity. You down? You down? I'm down. Alright, let's do it. 100%. 100%. <laughs> oh, look at you. Wow, you opened the way. Uh oh. I wonder if it powers on. Anyone know? Oh, yeah. It does? Oh, yeah. Are you sure? I, I, I don't care if it doesn't. I'm pretty sure it does. I'm Andy, I say we try to plug it in. Now it's time to show Kelly how this thing works. I mean, I kind of got to explain to her everything, and I would show you guys the clip. I would love to show you guys the clip, but Ricky never turned on the mic. Hey, Kelly, look at this. Oh, that's really cool. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> You about to be. Like, actually, right <laughs> if I knew where the on button was, I would be. Uh, <laughs> it's on the side. It was on the other side. Left side, maybe. No. Please, please. Wow. Did you please. know this thing comes up? Yes. Maybe it's in there. No, it's on the side. Okay, the lights on. Oh, I hear music. Yes. Wait. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I hear things. I heard music under there. Yeah. So, uh, uh, mommy. Something? Anybody? It's in the back? Oh. Huh? Oh, no, not Dang it. <laughs> this machine has been at my house for a few days and has been so fun to play. I'm actually really sad to let this thing go. It's a tabletop. Aaron's had this arcade at his house. I mean, we haven't been able to take it to the church. But it's a Japanese tabletop running on Pandora's Box 3. <laughs> With about 520 games or so. Dude, and it's Japanese. How cool is that? It's like original. Look at 
that fit, Curtis. Your truck came in handy. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that God. is, look at oh that. God. The gas, I need gas money. Do you need gas money? No, oh, I was like, if you do, let me know, bro. You helped me out, so thank you. All right, let's get over there. was a really special moment for me. Seeing so many old friends, there was so much love. I could just like quite literally feel the love in the air, all of us seeing each other. We haven't seen each other in so long. And so funny that we saw the original people. My great friend Andy, I love this dude, helped me up the stairs and back down the stairs again, just like it was a decade ago. But now we get to go. Surprise, Ricky. Just got off the phone with Ricky. He is home. Earlier, I actually didn't get a hold of him. I was like, shoot, I hope he's there right now. Uh, he's home. I told him I'm bringing those NES games over. And even on that, he was like, I'm super stoked, man. Thanks so much. This is the kind of stuff that makes what we do super fun. Fun adventures like this. What'd you say? I have five NES games for you for your gift. My gift for what? I bought you a gift. Dude. But it's in the back of Curtis's car. Oh, shoot. Is that, is that my old one? That is your old Play Choice 10. Oh, dude! That is your oh, Play Choice 10. Dude, I've been wanting that thing back so bad. I know, dude. Oh, dude. Look at that. Woo hoo hoo! <laughs> Dang. It's your, uh, your actual Play. And you know, you know who helped me bring it downstairs? Who? Andy. Same person who helped us bring it upstairs <laughs> years ago. Yes. Oh, dude, thank you so much. Oh, shoot. You're welcome, dude. Yes. Yes. I don't know how many birthdays this is going to last you for, but... <laughs> At least two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah, I was oh. more than happy, man. Oh I was shocked gosh. when I, when I pulled, went back. It's funny because that was like 10 years ago. I, I haven't seen it in so long that I like forgot like how nice it was. So, I mean, we... He, Remember our trip when we went out there? Yeah, oh, yeah. I got a G back then. Yeah. He said it might need a little TLC, like as far as making it work. He thinks it might work, oh, but no, they never I, like broke it or anything. You know what I mean? Oh, I don't care. And then, I just, dude, oh my god! Oh, yes, let's go. Yeah, baby. Let's go. And this thing too. Remember that? Yeah. It pops up like this. Yeah, it pop. We, we turned it on. Oh wait, there's a switch right there. Did they not see that switch? Maybe we didn't. Oh, I don't know. Or maybe that's not the switch. We heard the, like the music come on, but I couldn't see the screen. That's so the pan... Pandora's box. Pandora's box. I think that thing's actually pretty cool. So dude, that thing's sick. All right, let's uh, let's take it out. <laughs> Look at this too. Ooh, let's see. 120, 60 hertz, 1.2 amps. Serial number 5053. <sighs> Nintendo. So Ricky's gonna reorganize, but we're gonna have to, we're probably gonna put it over here in this wall he's thinking. He's had this chair for years, which to be honest, I've been trying to get him to get rid of, so. I bought you that Play Choice 10 just to make you get rid of it. Oh yeah, look at that, baby. What does Shark say? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right, Ricky plugged it in. We, again, they said it probably won't turn on first try. We probably have to put some TLC it into it. Um, nothing. Nothing? It dead. Why? <laughs> Judah. All right, so obviously with the Play Choice 10, Ricky's gonna have to put some energy into fixing it or just getting somebody who knows what they're doing to come and fix it, so. Uh, but let's get the other R2 for now. Look, listen. Is that the switch? Look at it. Looks like oh, it. it is. You ready? Yeah. Let's see if it works. Yeah, what was that? okay, so it transferred into video. Can't really see. Unless that was the power switch and you just turned it off. Maybe we just turned it off. We might have <laughs> just turned it off. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. Turn it back on. Let's see. These VGA okay. cables are kind of finicky too. We heard music a second ago. Hello? 
music? Are you there? Oh, yep, there's music again. So let's go in there. Oh. It's nice and quiet. That's Hold on. Could just need a new monitor. Which these are like, That's even easier. you can buy these for 20 bucks. You can buy any monitor and just switch out the cable. If this, thing's, this works, these things are actually super fun. Oh, you still need a VGA. Ooh, I, can, I can fix that button. Oh yeah, dude, you can buy them for 99 cents on uh, eBay. Sick, dude. That was easily the best investment of my money I've had in a long time. The look on Ricky's face to see him realize that, yes, our original show, a piece from there, was coming back into his game room, kind of seeing it unfold, even when the camera was off. This is the kind of stuff that just makes me realize you never know what's coming. I was even telling Andy, my friend who helped me, that that's why I'm so happy I've always had this kind of stuff because it's this big, long document of everything we've ever done within the world of video gaming and all the different stuff that comes along with it, like friendships and different emotions and long-term partnerships and things like that. So this was easily, easily one of the best moves I made in a long time. Thanks for watching.